Hey there and welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. It's a beautiful spring day out here and I wanted to give you a look at the tool I use to help keep the yard looking good. This is a Cub Cadet Ultima Series ZT1 mower with a 54 inch wide deck. Comes in a variety of different sizes to best fit your yard or your property. Now I have a 10 acre property and so with that comes a lot of mowing. Originally it was overgrown with weeds, about two feet of grass and it was basically a horse pasture. And so it's taken a lot of work to get to where it is today, but this is what I use to maintain it. And this 54 inch wide deck does the job. There's quite a few hills, there's some ravines and there's trees, and this manages to do it all. This video is sponsored by Cub Cadet. I only work with companies that I truly trust and believe in and have experience with. We actually had a garden tractor growing up that I did a lot of mowing on. And then since I've put a number of hours on various other Cub Cadet machines, so I can stand by them and say that they're a solid machine. Let's go ahead and look over some of the key features and why it works well for my property and see if it could be a good fit for yours. One of the first things you'll notice is it's real open concept design. It's got a two inch tubular steel frame with solid welds. I actually have quite a few bumps and rocks around the property still and so it's made to withstand that rough terrain. I really like the open system here because a normal zero turn mower has quite a bit of paneling and this makes it real easy to work on anything that you might need to maintain. This is definitely one of the most comfortable seats I've ever had on a mower, and it flips over for access to the battery. To access the belts, you simply remove one bolt, and this panel comes right off to be able to change out a belt. It's even got a spot for your coffee cup. The Cub Cadet came from a local dealership in my area who delivered it and took the time to go over everything and answer questions to get me comfortable with the new mower. Here's a look at the first time jumping on and driving the Ultima series. Now if you've ever used a zero turn mower, you know they're real easy to drive and maneuver. And if not, you'll get it down in no time. The key, the power adjustment, and choke are all on the right of the unit to get the mower started. To start cutting the grass, you'll pull up the PTO knob, which will engage the blades. I started by mowing the area right around the house, which has the nicest grass and it wasn't overgrown. Now the zero turn made quick work of the job and it cut great. You can get real close to the trees to minimize the amount of trimming you'll need to do later. I planted 40 trees this spring and this is one of the Austrian pines that went in. One of my favorite features of the Ultima series is how easy it is to adjust the deck height. Pushing down on the pedal will raise the deck instantly so you can raise it to go over a hose or a low profile obstacle without having to disengage the PTO. And to adjust the deck height to a new level, the pedal essentially acts like a clutch. So while it is pressed down, you can simply turn a knob which adjusts the mowing height in quarter inch increments all the way from one inch to four and a half inches. The rear of the mower has a hitch attachment so you can pull a small yard trailer or fertilizer cart. Next I moved on to mowing the back ravine area which gets a lot of water since there's a stream flowing through during the snow runoff season. It gets real thick and right now it's about 8 to 12 inches long and this model has the 24 horsepower engine and it powered through the deep grass without bogging down. Oftentimes when mowing real thick grass, I'll have the deck level pretty high for the first pass and then I'll go over it a second time to get the cleanest cut, but I just cut this at four inches and called it good. I have some pretty good sized hills to go up and down and the mower was real stable on them. Another feature that I haven't had on other zero turn mowers is the parking brake being engaged simply by moving the handlebars out to the sides. Usually there's a lever to pull, but this comes in real handy, especially when you need to hop off the mower from time to time to pick up sticks, uh, garbage, or rocks. And I'm still finding rocks on the property that need to be removed, so I find myself needing to make pretty frequent stops to pick them up. Here I'm mowing through the front ravine to create a little trail and that continues around the perimeter of the property and I use it for running and then cross country skiing in the winter. Now the mower maneuvers real well in some of the tighter spaces and it does a good job going through this thicker grass. I was able to get rid of a lot of the weeds last summer but I still have quite a bit of common tansy to deal with in the front ravine. It's a real thick woody type of weed that I'm working to get rid of and in the summer it will have bright yellow little pods on the end. 
I planted 10 Colorado spruce and 10 Black Hills spruce seedlings along the side of the property, and I know it's going to take a while for them to grow, but someday it should be a real nice shelter belt. My dad inspired me to do the seedlings as these trees were all planted with just the bare roots, and it's been fun to see them grow, and here's what they look like now. When you're finished mowing for the day, it's nice to give the mower a quick wash, and there's a hose attachment on the deck that you can connect to and then turn on the PTO to clean out grass clippings from underneath the deck. If you can't find time in your day to get out to the lawn, you do have the option to mow in the evening, which comes in pretty handy. The LED lights are bright enough to keep cutting the grass long after the sun's gone down. All right, I hope this video helps in your research to find the mower that best fits your needs and your yard or property. If you have any questions for me about the mower or just in maintaining a yard in general, please let me know in the comments below. And I haven't done that many review style videos, so please let me know your thoughts. And if you have any ideas on uh, products or tools to review in the future, let me know. All right, thanks again for watching and cheers from Montana.